All right, so today we are going to be having some fun with the new and improved Dragon Ball Heroes team on the GT Legendary Goku event. Now, obviously this team can take many different forms because we literally got, I think, close to 20 new units slash awakenings with this year's celebration from the Extreme Z Awakenings to the Dokken Awakenings and obviously the new banner units. So I could have brought the Darkness Toa or Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, um, Robelu, Dark King Machikabura, and so on and so forth. But for today's video, we're gonna go with this setup with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Super Saiyan Vegex, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and also the new Xeno Pan. And for the friend, we have a Rainbow Super Saiyan God uh, Trunks. Now, obviously, if I had a choice, I would have brought double Trunks leads, but unfortunately, I haven't pulled one yet, so we gotta use the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito for now. Now, uh, with that said, before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamersups. I wanted to let you guys know that the uh, second season of their Waifu Cup collection is now officially available for pre-order, so if you guys want to get your orders in before they sell out, then head down to the link in my description, gamersups.gg, and uh, get your orders in, and you can use my discount code, TIGER, for 10% off your purchase. And this includes their waifu shirts, waifu sweaters, sleeves, and also supplements. And like I said before, my personal favorite flavor from them is the Misfits Melon, which literally tastes like a honeydew bubble tea. But unfortunately, I can't drink it on camera because it's a green liquid and it's not going to mesh well with the green screen. But usually off camera, I'm having either the Misfits Melon or my second favorite, Green Apple, which is also green. But anyways, big shout out to Gamersups for the sponsor. Go check them out, link in my description, and use my discount code TIGER for 10% off. And uh, with all that said, let's jump into this run here. Uh, and see what happens. Now I haven't actually used Dragon Ball Heroes for the GT Legendary Goku event, so I don't know exactly how well they're gonna do, but we do have a decent amount of stackers on this team, so I think uh, it should be okay. So let me just see how I want to play this. So in terms of rotations, I think it makes the most sense to do a rotation of the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Bajex, and then another rotation with the Xeno Goku and Xeno Vegeta, right? So let's do that. Let's take the Goku out here and uh, looking at the defense here, we have 94,000 for Gotenks, 85,000 for Vegex, and 98,000 for Goku. So not great right now, but they do all build up defense over the course of the event. So I think we'll be fine in the long term. Okay, so first super, whoa, okay. <laughs> Yeah, one thing about the the Go Tanks and also the Go Hanks actually is that they don't start off very impressive. Now they do build up fairly quickly, so after like two or three turns, they should be doing a lot more damage. But uh, in the beginning, yeah, they're quite weak, honestly. Whereas the Vajex is actually a lot better, where uh, he you know starts like with two mil attack pretty easily. Wow. And he gets the additional supers too. Usually you're getting two supers, but sometimes if you're lucky, you get three. And there you go. Okay, first stage done. Pretty good so far. Now on this turn, we have the Super Saiyan God Trunks. I'm obviously going to keep the uh, Vegeta so he can link with the Xeno Goku. And we're starting with 183,000 defense with the support from the Pan. So, yeah, this guy is quite insane, you guys will. I mean, I'm sure at this point, a lot of you guys have already seen just what the Trunks can do, but if you haven't for some reason, uh, you're gonna be in for a treat. Just wait, just wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trunks is pretty crazy, guys. Trun Trunks is pretty crazy. Now, I, I, I have heard you know, the criticism that he is not that good um, outside of the Heroes team, which obviously is true, because he gets a big boost. Most of the boost actually on his passive is from Heroes, so 
yeah, he's kind of limited. He is kind of limited, but the fact that he's so good on this one team that actually got a huge, huge upgrade over the course of the celebration, um, I think is still fine. I'm not really like that upset about it, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, I think this Trunks is fine. Like people calling him mid just because he's only good on heroes. I think it's like not really necessary, but I understand, you know, I understand where you're coming from. I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I mean, how can you call a unit that's doing numbers like this mid, man? It's just, it, it, it's kind of crazy. Anyways, we got the uh, Xeno Goku and the Xeno Vegeta together. Uh, I do really want to get a super for the Goku immediately because he needs to build up so that he can, you know, hold up uh, as we get to the later stages, especially against that freaking... Uh, golden Great Ape, right? Like that stage really scares me. So hopefully we get a couple of additional supers here. I did build him with mostly additionals. Not that time. But uh, yeah, for the Goku and Vegeta, they both have more additional over crit because I plan to use them mostly for longer term events, right? For uh, the Legendary Goku event, for... Um, what's the other one? Uh, oh! the upcoming Legendary Vegeta event. It's gonna be good for them, and also, of course, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Okay, Trunks needs to chill, man. <laughs> Trunks needs to chill. I'm trying to build up these guys, and he's just killing everybody by himself. It's not... It's not working the way, uh... I want it to right now. Like, because we're trying to, you know, get these guys stacked up, it's actually better for us to take longer to get through these stages, because, you know, if we don't build up enough, we're gonna be screwed. Uh, when we get to like Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit worried. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much. But Trunks hitting as hard as he does is actually a bit of a problem. Like, I almost regret bringing a Rainbow Trunks friend. Maybe I should have just brought a 55% Trunks so that he wouldn't go as hard. But what's done is done. What's done is done. Um, we're getting double supers every turn from the Go Tanks because he gets a guaranteed second super if you have, I think, another Dragon Ball Heroes unit on the uh, rotation. So that's good to see. Yeah, look, Goku only has 158,000 defense. That is nowhere near good enough right now. So I'm going to need you to get at least two supers this turn, Goku. I know you can do it, man. Just give me that second super. You have like 15 additional in your uh, hidden potential, so come on. <sighs> Dude. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I'm starting to get just a little bit concerned. It's not time to panic yet, but... <sighs> it just might be a problem, man. It might become a prop. Ooh! Got the counter for Vegito. Let's go. Vegito counter. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the crit, too. Some solid damage, actually. Okay. So now. Um, over 200,000 defense for the Vegex. And the Go Tanks is pretty good. Uh, Go Hanks. Or sorry. Go Tanks, I think. Pretty much has his, like, max defense at this point. He should be fully built up on his passive with uh, the amount of supers he's done, so there's not really an urgency to get him supers, but we still want Vajex to continue building up, because he can infinitely stack. And right now, he's still not at a point where he's going to hold up super well. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so we're definitely going to put Pan at the end for the dodge, and we're definitely not going to put Goku in that first slot with all those attacks. And I'm definitely going to pop a Whis because our defense is not as high as I would like it to be right now. So here we go. Uh, the good thing is we are at full HP, so I'm not too concerned about dying to a super. Although a super will probably still hit us for quite a lot. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this Vegeta, right? The Xeno Vegeta probably has the best super attack animation of any new heroes unit in the celebration like including the new ones you know like i like fans animation i like dark king mechi Gabora, i like trunks and all that but um 
they they really showed that Zeno Vegeta a lot of love. I don't I don't know why. Like him specifically has the best animations, but it's just it's just a fact. Like he has the best looking animations to me out of all the heroes units in the celebration. Maybe just all heroes units. Period. Okay, so we're getting a Dokkan attack. It's a good thing. It's the Go tanks at least. This shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 29k with the Whis and the type of advantage and a good amount of defense. Uh, didn't hurt too much, which is good. Oh crap. Okay, hold on. We missed one, but not a huge deal. We should still be doing some good damage here. And, you know, we didn't really take too much damage anyway, so we'll be healing back to full next turn. Not bad, not bad. Additional super. Now would be a good time for a triple super. If you want to give that to me. There we go. Triple super. Beautiful. And what would be even better is if we got a triple super from Vajax here. He's going to get at least two. At least two. But a third one would be ideal. There we go. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Ah, what a tease. What a tease with that, uh, with that normal attack. All right. So we should be able to finish off the, uh, Great Ape this turn. Uh, defensively, I'm still a little bit concerned. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna risk it, guys. I'm gonna risk it. I don't want to pop another item before we get to Super Saiyan 4, uh, Goku, so... Hopefully, this doesn't come back to bite us in the butt. Now, if Goku gets supered, it's going to be a bad time. Yeah, if Goku... Oh! Oh, it's Vegeta. Perfect. That's what we want. That is what we want. That is good. Okay, so Goku now can get a super off as well. And build up a bit. No additional there, but that's fine. And the Trunks will now... Do, uh, some crazy overkill. <laughs> Because the guy had like probably 500 HP left and he did 3.4 mil. But good job, Trunks. Good job. All right. So now we're on Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, That's a lot of attacks at the end. That is a lot of attacks. I'm actually going to pop a Princess Snake here. And defensively, I think we'll hold up. Uh, let's actually put the Vajex there. Mm, yeah, yeah. Vajex there makes sense. And Pan just needs to get a couple of dodges off. Or at the very least, if she doesn't want to dodge most of the attacks, that's fine. Just dodge. Oh, never mind. Here's the super. It's going to do 30 damage. <laughs> but Jax, let's go. Good job, man. Yeah, that defense is uh, it is looking quite nice at this point. Over 300,000. And uh, it's still building. So by the time we get to the tech Super Saiyan 4, it should be at, you know, like 400,000. And even though we have type disadvantage with this guy, um, the additional supers and the fact that he raises defense, like for I think one turn, right, on his super attack, will make him tanky enough as a second slot unit if I use like a Whis as well to uh, keep us alive if um, we happen to take a super. It's still gonna hurt a lot if Gotenks get supered by full power Super Saiyan 4, but we shouldn't get killed if we have a Whis active. Okay, so this is where Goku's gonna shine. Goku's about to have a good time here. And we probably won't have to use another item for the rest of this uh, this stage, this phase, against the Int Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I think. I just need this Goku to get at least like one additional Super, man. There it is. Thank you. Finally. About time, man. About damn time. This is not gonna do anything. Maybe like a couple thousand at most. Not even that. <laughs> Not even a hundred actually. It's so weird man. The super attack does less damage than the normals. It just does not make a lot of sense to me. You know what I mean? Like why... Why does the super attack, you know, only hit for 64 and then a normal attack does like a hundred something? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You know, like I just don't understand how this calculation works in this game. But you know what, it's fine. Doesn't doesn't really matter too much. Uh Trunks is a little bit concerning to me at the end there. Um 
Assuming he doesn't super us, we'll be fine. But if he does super us, then we might not be fine, you know? But I don't want to pop another item right now, so I'm going to just cross my fingers and hope that Trunks does not get supered. It's, you know, only two attacks at the end, right? So it's much more likely that we either don't get supered this turn, or if we do get supered, it's going to be either the second or first slot. I'm hoping it's the second slot now. <laughs> Because if it's the third slot, we might be screwed. We've come so far, guys. We've come so far. I just really want to save at least two items for uh, full power Super Saiyan 4, you know, so... Uh, here's to hoping. Here's to hoping he doesn't decide to be a dick. And, uh, Super, Super Saiyan God Trunks here. Please, Goku, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, defense is looking really nice. Uh, we just need Pan to dodge one attack at the end, so we're not going to pop another item. And, I mean, what are the chances that that one attack is going to be a super attack, right? It's pretty low. It's not impossible, but it's, it's, it's pretty low. I'm willing to take that risk. I, I'm willing to take that risk. <sighs> okay. Big bang attack. Additional. Additional there. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, that's that last attack's a super, isn't it? That last attack is a super, is it? Oh, it's not. Wow. So back to back turns without getting super. That's. That's new. Alright. So, um. Yeah, Go Hanks with the. I keep calling him Go Hanks. Go Tanks with the double supers should be tanky enough here to not require item. Um, but Jax is also just tanky enough because of his defense to not require an item. And then we have type advantage with the, uh, Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So he should tank fine as well. Taking 38 damage there. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. See, this is not something we could have done, um, in the past with the Super Saiyan, or the, sorry, Dragon Ball Heroes team. Like... Because we didn't have stackers like this, because we didn't have super tanky units or units that could dodge like this, um, I never attempted the uh, GT Legendary Goku event with heroes, but now that we have all these new awakenings and all these new units, um, I'm sure another combination of heroes can also do fine, but this is what I went with just because I like these units together, you know, I like how they work together, so yeah, anyways, uh, let's... Get one. Uh, should I give the super to Goku or Vegeta? Because <sighs> next turn we're gonna be facing a tech Super Saiyan 4 full power, which means that we want our Vegeta to be, you know, hitting harder. But at the same time, Goku's not gonna have type advantage there, so it makes more sense to get him more tanky, right? I think so. I think so. So yeah, we went with the Goku. Now we're on full power Super Saiyan 4. And, uh, I definitely should... Uh, yeah, I definitely should pop... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna pop a... No, let's pop a Whis. And I'm gonna take Gotenks out of rotation, actually. Or... Maybe... Man, should I keep... Gotenks, or should I keep Pan? Like, I'm actually... A little conflicted because Pan has type advantage, but her defense isn't that good still, so she's not really gonna tank that well, anyways. At least with Go Tanks, he's gonna build a lot of defense with those additional supers. So I'ma still keep the Vajex and the Go Tanks together. I think that's the right thing to do. Maybe. Well, it's too late now. We already, you know, went, so I can't change it. But I think we should still float pan. Of course, he dodges that one, but it's not like we were going to hit that hard anyways. Unless we get a crit like this. That's perfect. And yeah, obviously he, he supers the guy that we really don't want him to super. That was uh, honestly not too bad. But of course, a big part of that is because we used the item. If we didn't pop a Whis... That would have been really bad. Like, really, really painful. Okay. Okay, Vegeta, this is your time to shine. Let me, uh, let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Here we go. 
I'm I'm gonna need double supers from you, man. I'm gonna need at least two supers from you this turn, or at least somewhere along the line. Give me a couple supers. Okay, first super, 3.3 mil. Attacks that definitely getting up there. One more. Damn. Okay. Yeah, attacks that definitely looking pretty solid at this point. And Goku, same thing, 3.25. Great. One more. Ooh, okay, so this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this, uh. This, this Super Saiyan full power for. Full. No, what's it called again? Super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. It's gonna take a minute to uh, take down just because of how much HP he gets. And, you know, even though we're doing some decent damage, we're not doing like crazy damage right now. Uh. Let's see. Maybe I should keep. See, I want to keep Trunks, but he doesn't really tank that well, which is the problem. But I also want to keep Trunks just for the damage, you know. So, uh, let me think about this for a second. Okay, so if we break these guys up, it might be a problem to get super attacks off, right? That 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 is gonna be a problem. Hmm. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake. And we're gonna give these two Bajeks. He still has more than enough defense to take those attacks for sure. And then we can give a super to the Trunks. And uh, Gohanks can actually tank those just fine with the Princess Snake and a couple of supers. So I'm not too concerned about dying this turn. Um. I'm just hoping that like we don't get screwed for orbs later on, but Trunks has a really good orb changing, so I don't feel like it's gonna be a huge problem to uh, get like five orbs for him to super consistently every time he comes around. Hopefully. In theory at least, you know, like he should be fine because of uh, his orb changing ability. All right, so Trunks, give me a crit here. High chance to crit, let me see it. That's one, one more, no additional super, okay. So, he by far hits the hardest on this team. It's not even close, really. By far the hardest hitting uh, guy on this team. And we just need him to get like an additional and he'll probably be able to kill him next turn, actually. Okay, let's see. And at the end, and at the end, that should be okay. Should be, should be fine. It's getting close, we're out of items. So I'm gonna just have to make some smart decisions here with my unit placement. I still wanna keep the Xeno, Goku, and Vegeta together for sure. Uh, really good attack. Or Vegeta, additional. No additional, but this is gonna do no damage. So we're lucky that the super landed on Vegeta as opposed to Pan. And Goku getting some good attack as well. Man, these guys just don't want to crit, eh? I, I, guess, I guess I did give them mostly additional, so it makes sense, but... A crit here or there would have been nice, you know? It would have been... Would have been nice. Hand's probably going to take some damage. I think like 20k per hit? 10k per hit? Yeah, around there. Okay, 10, 20k. 10k. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um... But Jack's in the front for sure. Yes. And... Oh. <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for the reset. We're gonna go for the reset. Because uh, I did not mean to do that. My apologies, guys. Call me a cheater if you must. But, you know, we're just so close to the end that I want to make sure that we do this properly. So, here we go. We're back on the same rotation. Uh, this time, we're gonna give these to... Uh, Jax, that makes a lot more sense. Get him a super. I'm gonna give these to Trunks, and then we'll give these to uh, Vegito. Now we do have a token attack with Vegex, uh, which is not who I wanted to have it, because obviously Trunks would have been a lot better, but at the same time, Trunks would not have been able to tank too well, so I was concerned about that potential super there. Okay, here we go. I mean, Vajax is still going to do some good damage, especially if he crits, and he has a high chance to crit at this point. Or no. What is his max crit chance? Is it like 30% or 40%? 40%. 40%. 
Either way, he has a decent chance to crit, so this could be a good crit here. No. Okay. Well, either way, we got a very good super for Super Saiyan God Trunks. And give me one more. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Additional super. If this crits, I think Goku's dead, man. I think Goku's gonna... There you go. There you go. Super Saiyan God Trunks. I don't care if he's limited to one category. Or I guess technically like two, because Crossover and Dragon Ball Heroes, but... <laughs> Dragon Ball Heroes and Crossover are almost the same category, so yeah, he's very limited, but just like the the performance on, on one specific category um, being that good, being that impressive, uh, just makes him not a mid unit to me, man. He's, he's really good. I really want him. <laughs> I really want him bad. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, GT Legendary Goku event with the new and improved Heroes team. It was, I'm not going to say a breeze, I'm not going to say it was like super simple, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And if we had better RNG for, you know, like who got supered and all that stuff, then uh, we probably could have used even less items. It probably would have been a little bit less stressful, but regardless, we got it done. There you go, guys. That is the team we brought today, but uh, you can obviously use a lot of different combinations and uh, still do really really well so uh that is today's video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it once again big shout out to gamersups for the sponsorship make sure to get your orders in for the uh, second season of their waifu cup collection use my code tiger for 10 percent off all your purchases and uh as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.